Olivia de Cude speaks for the Western Region Police Command. Ina, thank you very much. Uh, we'll come back to you at 3 p.m. for more details if there is any other point. Inatalia Kwanza is a Western Regional Correspondent bringing us up to speed now. The Bui Power Authority has described as sad and misleading claims that the facility is partly to blame for the current intermittent power supply in the country. Director of Systems Operations at Grico, Mark Ba, at a news conference last week, attributed the challenge with power supply to inadequate gas supply and shortage of water in the Bui Dam while updating the country on electricity supply. According to him, the situation had led to the shutdown of Bui during the day. But Bui Power is fighting back and exonerating itself of blame. We have more from Bui shortly, but first listen to Magba, who explained the challenge with Bui Power earlier. Currently, we are constructing the Pokwasi substation, the Kaswa substation, these two substations are being funded under the Millennium Challenge uh, Compact 2 uh, project. So MIDA is managing that funding for us. So you have Pukwasi and Kaswa. And then we have projects that are being funded by AFD, Agence Française de Développement. And they are financing major transmission line projects from Tema to Accra and to Mala. We believe that by June, July, when all these projects are being completed, Ghanaians will now enjoy reliable power. But in order for them to be completed, the contractors on these projects have requested for outages. Because as they build, they have to connect it to their current system. So it is just like Maybe you've invited an electrician to your house to come and fix some problem, and he comes and says, Sir, Madam, I have to switch off the mains for safe working space. Otherwise, somebody could die. And then Madam could say that I'm preparing jollof, so I'm going to blend some tomatoes, so give me 30 minutes. It is the same thing in the larger grid. The contractors have asked for outages between now and July in order to complete the projects. We are talking of 330,000 volts. In our house, we have only 240 volts, and that can even kill. So they will be coming to us to request these outages. And when this happens, we grant them these outages. It means that some of us will have to go off. We, were, we are now working with ECG on the quantum of these outages and how long it will take. And we are also discussing with the contractor to, as much as possible, minimize the duration so that we will have the minimum impact of outages on customers.